I'm going to be interviewing you and asking you questions, so okay. you got to keep your mind. Uh, I'm going to try to rattle you a little bit here. Good. Okay, so. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get you ready. I have uh, some of my grandmother's um, antique uh, terracotta plates, and so I hope you don't break it, but she <laughs> loves these, and I borrowed them from her. Awesome. Um, so what you're going to do is you have a one-foot pole. You're going to balance the plate on top of this pole, and then I'm going to ask you questions. And if you last longer than me, I'm going to play your song. Great. If you do not, I'm going to shake your hand and uh, send you to exile. Okay. See ya. All right, so get it, get it lined up. It takes a minute to get it lined up. I'm going to give you that space to uh, make sure you get it balanced exactly where you want it. And then at the end, if you're still doing well, we're going to add nuts to it, uh, these big nuts, like nuts and bolts. And uh, whoever is still standing at the end is going to be the winner. Here we Ready? go. Uh, does Jeff Pro smell good? Oh, so good. He seems like he would. Like, you guys are all out there sweating and smelling. Yeah. And he seems like he would smell good. He's not supposed to wear deodorant or cologne, but he does. Okay. It smells amazing. Um, so has being on Survivor opened up any other doors in the music business for you? Oh, for sure. Okay. Yeah. I mean, when I got back um, the first couple of months, I had a I had a couple different agents and people, you know, reaching out. Sure. Because I was doing music at that time. You're not even you're not even remotely like your plate is still so solid. I did work out yesterday. Did you really? Okay, well I hope you did arms uh, and I they're going to get weak. Uh, so tell me about your song Jesus Happened. Where did it come from for you? Well, three and a half years ago, I was sitting in a coffee shop and at that point in my life, I called myself a Christian, but um, I was so unhappy. I was so not full of peace and joy and zero righteousness. I just didn't even know what that meant. And a friend of mine walked up to me at this coffee shop, her name's Louisa, and she invited me to a worship night. She was like, Baylor, you gotta come to this worship night this Friday. You're gonna love it. So I showed up and I experienced what I now call, I didn't know what this was, the presence of the Lord. I experienced the tangible peace that surpasses all understanding. I immediately started weeping and fell to my knees and turned my life over to Christ. I feel like he's helping you right now. He is. Because you're telling the story and you're like, you're so solid <laughs> and not even remotely uh, moving. You've got well, this dialed in. He re, he re, uh, remade my foundation. <laughs> okay, well, who from Survivor would be shocked that you're doing Christian music now? Anybody? Because you weren't. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> you said like you weren't like very outspoken at the time. You weren't following Jesus at the time. Probably but Jeff now Probst, you um, Probably, well, my mom was not shocked at all. She knew I should have been doing Christian music the whole time. Right. So when I started, when I called her up and told her, she like wept tears of joy. Um, I think Natalie. Oh, might, you you almost faltered. Yep. You got it back be though. Shocked. I can't talk right now. Oh, <laughs> oh, she's she's wobbling. She could lose this thing. Okay, we're. Is coming. your hand starting to go numb? A little. Um, but you know what? I was born to play Survivor. Um, coming up, uh, you are you know as an artist, you're going to get to open for a lot of other uh, artists, like Christian artists and stuff like that. Who would be your first choice to share a stage with? If Kane ever needs an opener. Yes. You know what? I could see I'm that. Your girl. Yeah, they're really nice. And, and did you know that they did not name their ba band after the first murder in the Bible? I. Did. Okay, good. It's, it's their, their actually last, last name. name. Right. I did right. not. I, well, had I was to ask. thinking, I was like, why would they name a band? Yeah, exactly. I, know. I thought the same thing. Right. Uh, boy, you are crushing it. Okay, so here we go. You used a competitive cheer. Uh, name three cheer stunts. That's funny that we just brought up Kane because Logan from Kane was a cheerleader. No, he was not. Yeah, he was. And I was a cheerleader, like you just said. And the three stunts that I want to do with Logan, and we've talked about it, is a toss to hands, yep. which he throws me up in the air and catches me like this. That'd be amazing. One arm. A liberty, which is one foot lifted up, and a arabesque, which is your leg is behind you this way. Amazing. One leg. No, I, I can tell you this. Like, uh, the newsboys have the drum riser spin around, but nobody has done uh, any of the cheering stunts. That could be a show. I would go see that. Well, we need to do it. I would definitely go see that. Yeah. Okay, well, all your questions have been answered. No you have way. done so well. Now, time to pick up a nut. Oh. One at a time. She thought she was done. And you have to lay three of them on your plate right now. One. Done. Two. You did all three? Hey! Three. You are crushing it. No! Oh! Ah! No, no, it's starting to wobble. No! Ah! Dad, come it! Congratulations, <laughs> Bailey! You have bested me, and so as <laughs> promised, we are going to play your song, crazy. Jesus Happened, by Baylor Wilson here on The Wally Show. Hallelujah.